Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Nicola. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're old, hey girl, or hey boy. You, hey, like if you're old, <laughs> thank you so much for clicking this video. And as you already know by the title of this video, you already know what's about to happen in this video. So I'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible and we're just about to just just dive right into this thing. Um, but before I just go ahead and get completely started though, I always have some type of announcement. But I do want to also remind you guys that I started my blog and it is nicolaann.tumblr.com. I just want to state for the record that it won't stay like that forever, but yeah. <laughs> It definitely won't stay like that forever. I am planning on buying the domain name and making NicolaAnn.com into this really lovely place where you can go and create, you know, you can go and check out content. I'm planning on, you know, doing some podcasts for you guys eventually. Eventually, that's all kind of in the works. But for right now, I'm just focusing on the written work, and there are some of my YouTube videos up there. So if you can go ahead and check that out, I will. Put it somewhere up on this screen and maybe by put like one of those little ticker thingies or but definitely I'm going to have it in the description bar below. So please go check out nicoleann.tumblr.com, read some of my work. It's just me basically letting you in on a different level because I'm, I tend to be more fun and I try to be more upbeat on this channel and there you see me, you see me get emotional and you see me talk about parts of my life that I don't know if YouTube is the right platform for me to talk that about to talk about that. So definitely go ahead and check that out if you're interested in just learning more about moi. <laughs> Alright, to the Ipsy bag. So this is how the Ipsy bag came. Um I did an Ipsy bag opening once before when I first started my channel, but I wasn't being consistent and I ran into a lot of financial troubles, which you would know about if you went to my blog. Don't click now. Go later. You would know, you know, sometimes I find myself in these really crazy financial funks. So I canceled all the, all of these subscriptions that I had, and I had a ton, and that helped me save money monthly, but that also included Ipsy. So I just restarted my subscription with them because I actually like what they do, and this is the first box that I've gotten back since I started my subscription. This is the September bag, and granted, I'm a little late, but I, I put my address to be mailed home, so I had to go wait till I go home to get it, then bring it back to campus, then film, a lot of work. But anyways, for those who don't know, Ipsy is a subscription um, beauty service where you make a profile on their website, you let them know your eye color, your hair, con your hair type, your skin tone, and then you also let them know your interests. So what kind of makeup products are you interested in? What kind of skincare products are you interested in? And what kind of hair care products? And every month for $10 a month, every month they will send you five sample to full size products every month for $10. So yeah, I've gotten some really cool items from them. One of my favorite highlighters by Ofra in the color Bliss is I got out of an Ipsy bag. And I will stick that video somewhere on this screen so you guys can go watch it after. Watch this first. Go watch my other Ipsy bag opening after. I was super, super immature. But yeah. And it, when it's mailed to you, it comes in this little, cover my address real quick, it comes in this little purple bag thing, which is, I think it's super, super cute. I'm always a fan of the packaging. I glanced over the products like once when I was home when my mom handed it to me, um, but I didn't really get to like look at it. And it, oh, they always come with these little cards in them, which I think is cute. Oh, I think this is so cute. So this is the September bag, and this is how the bag looks. I kind of get like a like a Great Gatsby, <laughs> you know, like a Great Gatsby kind of feel when I look at this bag. I think it's really really cute has like this really nice gold detailing right here and I usually keep these bags like my, my first three that I had gotten before I canceled the subscription I still have the bags so let's go ahead and oh okay so I got five products you usually get five products unless you get like four full-size products I don't know but 99.9% .9 of the time you're getting you're getting five products so I got this brush and I'm very interested to use it um, and it is by Crown. I don't know what kind of brush this is. I'm going to have to check on their website. I should have had it pulled up here. But I will have, I'm probably going to try and put up some graphics or something so you guys can see it. Oh, this is nice. And it has, oh, it has like these little, okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's these little groove here and here. 
for you to place your finger. So they're assuming you're gonna hold it like that or like this, which is awesome because, oh, that is awesome. That's awesome. Oh my This is really soft, guys. I'm super new to makeup, but this is, oh my goodness, this is really nice. And you usually see brushes like in the opposite color where it's white and then, where it's black and then white up top here. So I think it's, I think the opposite in the ombre is really cool. But the, the grooves in here, I, I hope you guys can see that. I hope you guys can see that big thumb groove right there. And there's another one right here. I hope, I can't tell, but hopefully you guys can see it. And that's, that's nice. That's really nice. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but I'd probably use it to blend out my... I use brushes to blend out my concealer. I don't use a beauty blender. Just because I feel like beauty blenders share out the concealer a little too much. And I conceal to highlight, so... But right now, I'm filming this at the end of the day. Like, I have a break in between classes. It's 4.40, so my makeup is shy. But, <laughs> when I first leave the house, I look great. Alright, so the second thing on here is a lip balm. And it is by... Waxing Cara is the brand, I guess, yes, Waxing Cara, and, or Cara, I don't know how you would pronounce it, and it's Sweet Lips Organic Honey Lip Balm, oh, I need to open it, I need to break the seal really quick, alright, okay, definitely, so it's supposed to be, it's organic, and it's, yeah, it's supposed to be, um, purely organic, and it smells, like, it, there's definitely nothing, Oh, but it melts like butter. Ooh, that's lovely. Right now, my favorite lip balm is not organic. It is from the Maybelline Baby Lips Collection. That is, has been my... I haven't found something to beat it yet. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, next thing we have is by Be Fine Food Skin Care. Now, I glanced at this. Like I said, I opened it really quickly previously when my mom handed it to me when I was home this weekend. And this this caught my eye and I got really excited about this so be fine food skincare is the brand and it is the exfoliating cleanser with brown sugar sweet almond and oats and that is how it looks I don't know I've been on the hunt for a new skincare regimen I need to change up what I do I will be doing a skincare routine video for you guys in the future in the near future but you know it probably won't be fully updated by then but I'll just show you what I got but I'm really excited about this product, like, and it, okay, so I'm going to take a little bit, okay, so it's very chunky, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to use a lot because it's a sample size and I don't want to waste it, but there's chunks of, like, brown sugar on my finger, I hope you guys can see that, there's chunks of brown sugar and I'm already excited, Man, does it smell? I can't really catch the smell, okay, it smells, it smells like almond, it has an almond oats kind of smell, and if you're like me, I really like that smell. It has, I love that oat smell. This is real, like, this is like sugar, like brown, really, really brown sugar. Wow. Wow. So it says, um, our cleanser exfoliates and removes impurities while naturally balancing your skin's moisture. Brown sugar, almond, and oats remove excess oil and nourish dry, sensitive skin. Well, I like the fact that they said it, it removes excess oil because as you guys can tell right now, oil is my issue, not dryness. So, yes, I'm really excited about that. Alright, so the fourth product is something that I've gotten in an Ipsy bag before as well, and it is some nail polish. I recognized this as soon as I saw the box because one of my favorite nail polishes, I'm staring at it right now, it is from this brand and I got it out of an Ipsy bag. And it is by Trust Fun Beauty. And the color I got, oh, <laughs> this is like a champagne pinkish gold. This is beautiful. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see the color fully right there. It is in the color champagne. I can't read, guys. I, st I stared at that word for like five Champagne socialite. That's what this is. So this is this is beautiful. This is a legit beautiful color. If you guys can see that. I'm hoping I don't want to get it on me because my nails are white. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful pinkish kind of color, and I hope you guys 
this is cute and I already know I like this brand like I said because I got I've gotten a color before in an ipsy bag from them which was super super nice all right so the last thing I got is some mascara and I noticed it right away like I said when I glanced at the bag um, so it is superhero it oh no sorry it's from it cosmetics and the line I guess is superhero yeah but it's from it cosmetics this is how the box looks not a fan of the packaging I think it's a little excess like what is this what is all this extraness? but I didn't pay for it so I'm not too but I technically did so I should care about packaging yeah I technically did all right so it's a sample size I don't use mascara because as you guys can tell or if you couldn't tell yay me but I wear falsies and I usually don't do anything to my natural lashes I I consider myself a naked mole rat and I don't have like long or lustful or full lashes at all like I barely have any but because so because of that I don't own mascara but you know it'll be nice to try I wouldn't know what to compare it to to be honest because I don't use mascara but I've seen other people complain about mascara so I know what to look for I guess and right off the bat from opening this there's a lot of product on this brush and I'm scared of clumping I'd be scared of clumping so that is how the brush looks and immediately, I don't know if you could tell, but at the tip right here, there's a ton of product on there, and I'm not sure if I would want all that. It seems I don't want to get it on. Oh, I already got stuff on my nails anyway. So it's supposed to have, so I guess that's why it looks so thick, the material. It's supposed to kind of help, I guess, kind of give this elastic, stretchy kind of look to your lashes, which will help people like me, so we'll see. All right, guys, so just to recap what I got in the bag, this is how the bag looks very Gatsby. I got first a crown brush. I don't know what kind of brush it is. It doesn't say, but I'll probably put it in the description bar below for you guys. Then I got some lip balm from Waxing Cara. After that, went ahead and got some facial exfoliator, some really pretty nail polish, and some mascara. So all in all, I would say this, this, this month's bag was a hit. I just got an email the other day saying that the October bag is on its way, so keep a lookout for that video. And make sure to check out my previous Ipsy bag video. And I just quickly go through the stuff. It's not nearly as in depth as this one, but definitely go check it out when you have the chance. And keep a lookout for my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and go ahead and check out nicolaann.tumblr.com, aka my blog. Enough of me talking. I'll see you guys later. Peace.